Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got one of the biggest wars here that we have seen yet to date. A huge rivalry now between Tribe Gaming and Space Station Gaming. Lexnos and Nick are going against their old team from last year here in the French Clash Cup playoffs. Let me bring up the bracket for you. So you see Tribe Gaming is at the very bottom right. They're taking on Space Station Gaming. There's a ton of other great matches. We also covered HT Family versus Queen Walkers, which is on the left side of this bracket plus plenty of other teams. And then there's a whole nother bracket here that's amazing teams that are going at it as well in the French Clash Cup for the playoffs. You guys can pause it if you guys want to see the whole matchups. You can take a look at who is playing who. But today is Tribe Gaming versus Space Station Gaming. Let's go ahead and get into the war. We are live. Here we go. Eve Maxi kicking this one off to start. Drops the lightning onto the scattershot near the queen. Earthquake as well. He's coming in with a bowler. He's got five more lightning spells. He drops him right on top of the queen and the multi takes her down with the Grand Warden Altar. And that scatter shot is damaged a little bit. Queen towards three o'clock. We've got balloon down onto the onto the cannon. There's the ice golem king. Gonna loop his way in towards Eagle Artillery. The CC is there. Bowler bounce, but the Tesla pops which now the bowler is going to go down, but the bowler does take out the Builder Hut, which that was the objective of that bowler to try to keep this queen to move her way in, maybe to the scatter shot. No, the RC ability goes off, and there comes some headhunters. The poison spell is down to try to help take them down. King can move in. Queen follows into the king. There's the ice cone protecting a little bit. Eagle is down. There is an archer to pull the hound a little bit over. Look at that. Beautiful job there, which actually lets the queen step up a little bit more before she has to deal with the hound. The hound is still there onto the archer. Drops a headhunter as well to keep the hound away from moving over to the queen. Look at that. The queen's now making her way into the course. She's going to be able to grab the scat the sweeper in this direction. Going to have the burner ability. No, he's going to burn it too late, actually. He's going to have to pop this hound. He could have popped it a little bit earlier to take that sweeper out. But now the queen's going to go down, so the sweeper's going to stay. That was a little bit of an issue. I thought I was going to force that ability. But there's the blimp. It's going across. This sweeper is pushing some stuff around. He's got the war internal tome. Pops it now. Minions are going to help clear these lava pups. And the blimp makes its way to the town hall. He's got a red air bomb into the court. There's the freeze onto the town hall to help protect him. Two more hastes. The hound's going to fly across his base. Hopefully pull these traps. More red air bombs are found, but the balloon makes its way into the sweeper. Can it take it down? One more shot. It does go down with the death damage. He's got a handful of loons. Haste his way through to the wizard tower. More red air bombs into the middle. He's got the wizard tower. There are more red air bombs. Tornado trap in the core. More seeking air mines. But we have a top end air defense. He drops the haste. Is it going to be enough? Single target Inferno goes down. Bomb tower still goes down. The blue needs to make its way over to the air defense there. He's working his way through the Grand Warden. He's got the minions. But this air defense is picking off some of these puffs. The balloons need to backtrack to go their way. He can drop a minion over to the right side. He finally does. The Grand Warden gets locked down. But the air defense is going to go down. And Eve Maxi going to be coming in with a triple to start this one off. Taking down Agent 33. Look at that. It's a trip. Eve Maxi, great job. Nice hit. What an attack. Down goes Agent. All right. Tribe with the first triple to kick this war off. Crazy Ryan in against Nebrex. Crazy Ryan coming in with the two lightning. He's got the earthquake, a skeleton spell as well. All right, drops the lightning on top of the queen with the earthquake. Balloons out of the mortar to help take that down. RC goes into the archer tower. Pops the RC ability. He's going to try to loop this king towards the town hall. There's a tassel that does... Tassel farm that kind of pops up here. Double skeletons. The lava hound is actually going to go off to the queen. He did not expect to pull that hound there. So he's going to have to drop a poison spell... He's going to freeze it to try to keep this queen's health. The king's ability goes off. Is he going to make his way in towards the town hall? The, the king goes in. No, the king loops back out. The Though the town hall does activate. There is a tornado trap there. But the queen, she's getting hit by the town hall. He's going to have to force that early freeze spell. The queen still has her ability intact. Finally pops the ability right now. But the town hall is still standing. And the queen did not make her way into it. The freeze goes down from the ice golem. The queen needs to try to take this town hall down. He's got another freeze. Is he going to do it? No. He's going to lose that queen. He's got the stone slammer. He sends sneaky goblins to help take the town hall down. Freezes it. 
Is the town hall going down? The town hall is going to go down to the sneaky goblins there. But he did use his free spells. He's got another Rage 3 Haze and a Skeleton to use. He's got the Stone Slammer coming in towards the Air Expo by the Single Target Inferno. Another Hound in kind of the same spot. Warden needs to get deployed. There it is. Single locks onto the Stone Slammer. And he's moving his way in. He's still got the Defending Queen and the Royal Champ still. There's the, the Dragon comes out of that Stone Slammer. And he's dropped a Skeleton Spell right onto the Royal Champion. Trying to take her down. Saving onto that Warden Eternal Tome. The Hound did pop over the Eagle Artillery. Warden's ability over into the core of this base. There is a Seeking Air Mine. Is there a bunch of red air bombs? Yes, a bunch. But the Warden Eternal Tome protects all of them, all them right there. He doesn't have any free spell here over the Queen, though. And these balloons may just not have enough. He drops the Rage. He's pushing his way towards that multi. More traps pop up. But the Queen is still standing in Nabrox's base. It looks like Crazy Ryan's going to fall. It's going to be a defense for Tribe Gaming. The Queen is standing, and this is going to be a lower percent defense as well. The Royal Champion messed it up by pulling out that that CC, which he did not expect. The Queen, he was, he was wanting to get that Town Hall down way earlier, most likely. Get a little bit better value. It's going to be about around 80%. Oh. Tribe started with, off with a triple space station. Did not. Got a, He's got a final hay spell to drop. Where is he going to finish with? Dragon dies. Super wall breaker is down. 85%. And the warden's going down here. About a bit 87. 87%. 87% for Crazy Ryan. Alright. I've got the advantage. Eve check. Good luck. Going up against Nick. Oh. These people used to be clan mates. Used to be clan mates. And here we go. Eve check. Going in with the super witches. Starts off with the Grand Warden walk at 3 o'clock. Alright, Eve check. What can he do to take down Nick? Warden. Working on to the Archer Tower. Takes it down. There we go. He's going to rage this Warden up. He's going to be just out of range of the Town Hall here. There's a Tesla that's right to the right. Maybe there's a Tesla farm over to the right side there. Just finds one. The Warden can step up. He's got four Super Witches, a Jump, and four Rages to use. So you're going to see this Rage Spell being invested here onto the Grand Warden, onto the Town Hall. There's a Super Wall Break. It looks like he's going to want to char charge his way into the left side here. Got to be careful here. Doesn't want this Warden to get locked on by any of the CC or that Expo, which I don't think has a chance of locking that Warden. Because he's going to take down the Tessa and then start the Super Witches. CC is nowhere in range here. All right, there's the Queen. Super Witches are down. And the King's going to go on the outside. Balloons as well. Big boys are coming through. Valkyrie, Giant, and there is the Siege Barracks on the left side. Pushing his way in. He's got the Warden Eternal Tome. He does not pop. But the Super Wall Breaker actually opens up the core. There's a bunch of Headhunters. Is he going to pop that Warden ability? He does. Pops the ability here to get through the massive Headhunter CC. There's a ground... Two ground skeletons that do pop up. Just try to stop that King from getting the scatter shot. But that Warden ability protected through the CC. Now they're charging the way into the core of this base. Here comes the Hog Riders from the Siege Barracks. Royal Champ's making her way through. Seeking Air Mines. Taking out these healers. But there's a jump to the backside. The big boys doing a massive amount of work here in the core. It does have two freezes and an invisibility spell still to use in this attack. And these super witches. He's got a few that have gone off to the side. He's got one by the multi-target inferno. But this royal champ can be clutch here. She could take out a huge section of this left side. There's hogs. Balloons to pick off the archer tower. And if he's got the time. He's got the RC still moving her way through with two freezes. Queen's got her ability. Eve check. Looking to take down Nick. Queen burns her ability. There is the RC ability. The shield skipping through. Queen's ability goes off. You're going to see probably two a freeze onto the scatter. There it is. Queen comes back around. And this is a triple. Eve Jack taking down Nick's base with the Super Witches. GG. Oh. Another triple from Tribe Gaming. The invisibility spell goes down onto the Queen. And there we go. Nice hit. Drive two for two. Space station has to three star. The pressure is on. Who is next up for him? 
Oh, Nick is live on Exorcist. Nick coming in with the Lalo with the Ice Hounds. He's got one lightning spell. There's the red air bombs that pulled out. There's the blimp in towards the multi. Is he going to rage this up over the queen? Yep, there's the rage. Blimp is going to look to take down this queen. Inferno Tower goes down. Queen goes down, clears this whole section, which is looking pretty good. Super Minions getting its shots off here. We've got the Headhunters actually moving their way down south. He's got no Baby Dragon or anything to deal with this. So what is he going to do? There's a Balloon. Lightning Spell to kill off the Headhunters. Poison Spell onto the Super Minions. King is down. Wizard as well. And now he can start the charge and make his way in. He's got two Super Wall Breakers that try to charge his way in towards the Town Hall here. There's the queen behind the king. All right. Where's the king in a loop? He's going to go to the wizard tower. Yes, he does. Wizard over to grab the builder hut. Super wall breaker down. Opens that. Drop another one. We'll open up this compartment by the town hall. He drops it. And he does open it up. All right, let's see. Pops that king ability. He's going to try to loop his way to the town hall. There he does. The queen's moving in. A tornado trap. Bunch of small bombs. Queen's getting hit by the town hall. RC's going in. And he's going to have to pop the, R the queen ability. He does pop the ability. But she's dead from a small bomb or even a giant bomb. She can't take out the Grand Warden altar. The single target inferno actually locked onto the RC. He doesn't even get the ability. Oh, he does. Just in time. Gets the RC shield off. There's the Ice Hounds moving his way in. He's still got the Great Warren Stone Tome hanging on to the Headhunters. Drops them to push their way over to the Raw Champ. But they're not in the Warden ability here. He pops them, but they're going to be getting hit by the Ground Expo. He's moving his way through. The Ice Hounds getting frozen. Headhunters working on to the RC. Can she go down? And she does not. But the, the Ice Pup should be able to help finish her off. And they do just finish her off there. There's the haste spell to the backside. Freezes up the scatter shot, pushing his way around from the core. The Ice Hound is still standing. Haste his way through. And Nick coming in when Space Station needed it with a three-star. Nick, GG. 43 seconds left. Plenty of balloons. Nick is OP. The Ice Hound still standing. And down goes Axis's base. With the blimp into the Sui Lalo. Nick doing what Nick does best. And that is the triple. You never question Nick. Never indeed. Nice job. Nice hit. Alright. Space Station needed that. Axosist is in. With the Super Wizards. Three P.E.K.K.A.S. Alright. On Gratikus' base. Drops the Warden up top. Not dropping the healers just yet. There's the Baby Dragon. Balloon. Healers are finally deployed onto the Warden. A little late there. The Warden's taking a little bit of damage. Looking to Warden walk the Eagle, potentially. These Expos are far away, so the Warden won't get hit. There's the Raid spell onto the Warden. He's going to walk his way in. Balloon Archer to help take down the Mortar. Another Balloon Archer combination takes it down. Warden takes out the Air Defense. He can now reach the eagle here. Okay. He's got a blimp. Eagle should be going down. Is he going to be set? It looks like... Oh, there is a skeleton spell onto the single. He drops some witches. He doesn't want that single locking onto the king here. He doesn't have any more skeleton spells. There's the P.E.K.K.A.S. Balloons pull seeking air mine on the outside. The king can pop his ability. He can make his way into the single here. Look at that. King now gets locked on, though. That's unfortunate. Pops the ability. The single's going to roast this king. There's a giant bomb. The king is trying to take the single down. He does actually take it down. There's the warden ability. N nice and early to push his way in with the super wizards. And the headhunters are working on to the grand warden, unfortunately. There's the poison spell trying to slow him down. This warden looks to be going down to that one headhunter. Blimp is into the town hall. The headhunter removes the warden. That was the early warden ability. The king is dead. No, the king is just barely surviving. But the rage sneaky goblins helped take that down. Still has the royal champion. The jump trying to get his way into the core. He's lost the super wizards. That warden getting locked on to really hurt. But he's got the P.E.K.K.A. still up. RC's moving her way through. He doesn't have any way to distract this cannon down here. The RC's going to have to just make her way through it. The queen's got ability. These P.E.K.K.A.s are trying to tank. The, the healer did transfer off to the P.E.K.K.A. Or to the 
It did one healer there. The queen's got the burner ability onto the scatter shot, and she does. RC still got her ability. She's gonna work onto the expo. Now she's onto the royal champion. No, she's not. But wait, RC burns her ability, skips across. The queen's gonna die. 48 seconds left. The RC is gonna take down the multi-target inferno. This air expo is gonna be devastating. What is hitting? What is that air expo hitting? Oh, it's hitting the healer there. The RC is making her way through to the air expo. Queen, giant bomb. It's gonna stop the royal champion in her tracks. 87%. So this is looking like a defense here, but it's gonna be more percentage than a crazy Ryan. So Tri will still have the advantage if Space Station tripled their next attack. Axe assist. 16 seconds. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be the 90s here, though. This is the opening that Space Station needed. 93. Four seconds. Can he get a 94? Yes, he gets a 94%. Graticus defense. Graticus is in. Alright, Graticus. On Eve Maxi. Coming with the drag bat. Alright. Drops the balloon archer onto the mor mortar. Sneaky Goblin to help set a final to get the king to go into the scatter shot. Ice Golem's going in. It's going to get locked down by the scatter. There's the ground skelly that pops. Drops a giant. Queen down south at six. Looks like he's sending the dragons in between these heroes here. Got four freezes. The RC is going to lock onto this king. There's the king ability. Takes out the royal champion. Taking out the scatter shot as well. Balloons are down. Dragons. And he's coming across the base. Dragons are moving their way in. King's removing the air defense. And the air defense is going to go down. The queen's continue to walk down this left side here. Got a rage spell. Pops the queen ability. She's going to step up. Help grab this air expo. Balloon. He's going to blimp to the town hall from this side right here. Yep. There's the blimp coming in. Out comes the CC. There's the headhunters moving in. There's the tornado trap right by the town hall here. But is it going to be enough? Can he still take this town hall down? He pops that Grand War Internal Tome. Let's see. The, what does he got here? Does he have Sneaky Gobs? He does. The minions come out. Sneaky Gobs eventually come out. They're working on the Town Hall. Town Hall is going to go down. Town Hall is gone. Sends the Royal Champion in after the fact. The Eagle Artillery is still standing. Sends the Bats in as a wave. But the Wizard Tower is locking onto them. The Eagle is still up. And these Dragons have completely went the wrong way. Not into the core. He's going to have three Freezes still left to use. There's the Freeze on the Wizard Tower. There's another wizard tower still standing. RC's got our ability. Eagle's locked onto these bats. There's the freeze spell. Bats have made their way in, but the scatter shot can one-shot them, and the scatter shot gets the shot off, and it spins to hit the bats. He's got one bat left. He can deploy. RC's ability goes off. He drops the bat up top, but it moves in. Down goes the bats from the scatter shot. He's got a minute left. The scatter shot just completely... Somehow swung that shot around to follow the bats. And Graticus' bats have been wiped out. This is another defense for Tribe Gaming. The dragons are pushing their way through. You still got the platforms in the middle of this base. How much health do we have left on these dragons? Oh, pulls a seeking air mine. Pulls a ground skelly. He's only got these three dragons left. The scatter shot's full health. The king is going to be the biggest air defense in the base now. That's going to be a defense. There's a sticking air mine. Down goes the minion. And another defense for Tribe Gaming. The Warden's picking off the final stuff in the core. But not going to be enough against the scatter shot here. The scatter's going to pick him off. And Eve Max is going to hold. That's two fails for Space Station Gaming. The dragon onto the Dark Elixir Drill. And finishes with a 95. Alright, Nebrex is in against Crazy Ryan. Six lightning spells. He's got an earthquake. Alright. What is he going to come in with? What is he dropping these lightning? On the RC and multi here? Over on the right? No, on the queen, the multi, and the expo. Okay, there's the earthquake. 
Takes that stuff down. Queen is damaged, but now he can try to have the RC ability do damage to... Was that two shots under that? He's going to send this RC in. Here's the RC. She's going to move her way in. She's going to go to the Archer Tower next. Can she take it down, or is their ability going to go off? No. Okay, there's the ability. Skips. Takes out the scatter shot there pulls out the cc headhunters which are actually going to loop their way to the queen one loops to the queen one goes to the king here king's ability goes up no they both go to the king actually so he's got the poison spell the barbarians are trying to remove they do the headhunters are now gone the king's getting some great value the queen could take care of this lava hound drop the poison on top of the queen that is a perfect poison placement which means now all these pups will die inside the poison spell that's exactly what you want to do when dealing with a lava hound drop the poison on top of your queen to perfectly encircle all the lava pups. Now he's got the queen. Will she walk her way to the town hall? That's going to be the question. Balloon onto the mortar up top. This is looking solid here. Queen can get some great valley just by walking in. She's got her ability. Town hall will go down here. Ability goes off. Town hall has been removed. Still has the stone slammer to deploy. He's going to move his way towards this bottom side. There's the stone slammer onto the cannon. Moving his way through. The sweeper is going to push back a little bit. Finds the tornado trap actually here. Which is going in and out of the single target infernal range. And here comes, the, here comes the Warden. Moving his way through this multi-target Inferno. The Stone Slammer still moving. The Queen finally is going to go down. Drops a handful of loons onto the single target Inferno. He's going to have to take out this RC, which is still standing there. He doesn't have any... Finally, Headhunters go in. Pops the Warden ability to take care of the Royal Champion. Hounds go to the top side. Hastens his way to the Scattershot. Does end up freezing it up. But the Queen is still standing. The Headhunters do kill her off. This Eagle Artillery is doing work. Red Air Bombs through the core of this base. Two freezes left. Down goes one of the Expos. But the Scattershot is still standing. He's going to have to invest the freeze. He invests it onto the Eagle Artillery. Stone Slammer staying up. Balloons make their way to the Scattershot. Warden's helping taking it down. If he's got the time, he's got the three star. The Eagle's doing work. Scatter is now gone. The Stone Slammer finally has yet to pop. The freeze still in the bag. And we got Nebex with Tribe Gaming with another triple. 37 seconds. Drops the freeze there. I would have maybe saved the freeze for the king to just keep him in one spot. And that stone slammer did not even pop. GG, Nebrex. Another triple for Tribe Gaming. And there it is. That's four. Space Station needs the triple. And hope for the final attack. The Tribe does not. All right, Agent 33 is up next, which means Lex is going to be the final attacker for Space Station Gaming. And Agent needs to desperately triple right here for Space Station. There's the Yeti over at 3 o'clock. Going to help take this down. 12 Infernal Dragons to be used. Drops the e drag down at 6 to try to get some chain value. It's skipping across. The Yeti going to the cannon. He's got a Super Wall Breaker up top. Got a Giant. Where's this king? He's going to try to loop the king in towards that single. There's the giant. No, the queen is down. Balloons. Inferno dragons are going through. He's going to be an early war internal tome. Not yet. There's the blimp. Pops it early. Finds a couple seeking air mines. Pushing his way in. Another seeking air mine protects all this. So that was a beautiful war ability. There is a raid spell right by the town hall. But he's spinning across. There goes the king towards the single. But he's going to get locked on. Town hall. Is it going to go down? He's going to have to invest a free spell onto it. No, he has to invest another free spell onto it. The king, queen burns her ability. The single target infernal is still standing here. That was two free spells that he did not want to use on the town hall. The queen is moving her way through. He's still got a bunch of infernal dragons in the core of the base, sending the RC finally down, but the ground expo will lock onto her, do some damage, but the infernal dragons are getting hit. These skeletons are actually coming around the right side over to the single target inferno. The multi-target is still standing. He's got one freeze left with the RC ability. There's the freeze onto the multi. And onto the, inf onto the air expo. Down it goes. That single staying alive. RC ability goes off. Skipping across the base. He's got this. Agent. Has got the trip. Unless something crazy happens. These Inferno Dragons don't have much health. This air defense is doing some work. This Inferno Tower is pretty low on health. It does go down. RC is about to die. And she dies off unless there's the perfect seeking air mines in Eve Check's base. I just don't think there will be. He's got he's got Inferno Dragons on the left side as well. And it's a triple for Agent of Space Station. Well, GG. Now it comes down to the final attackers. 
agent comes away with the trip. Tribe, all they need is an 89% to start a win. Here we go. Kronos is in to kick this one off on the right. All right, Kronos. Let's see. Where's Lex? Lex is not live yet. Let's actually... Well, let's bring up Kronos on the main screen here while we wait for Lex's attack. Oh, as I say that, Lex is in. Lex is in now. All right, here we go. Let's go jump and take a look at Lex. He's in on the left. Kronos went with the lightning, coming in with the super witches. And Lex with the zap Lalo. All right. Lex knows. Drop some balloons down south near the town hall. But Kronos, drop the lighting up top, starting with that Grand Warden. He can make his way toward the town hall pretty safely there. Lex finds a tornado trap right by the town hall. But his blimp should be able to help take it down. He drops the lightning into the core on that multi-target infernal. There's the earthquake there as well. Can the town hall go down? Sneaky Gops finally come out and the town hall is gone. Lex has removed that town hall. Kronos. Starting with the Warden, taking out this stuff, still taking a little bit of time. Kronos is not going for the... because it's a slow attack. He's still got one healer to use. This King is going to loop his way inside, goes to the Elixir Storage. Sends a Wizard for the Air Defense, finds a Ground Skeleton that does pop up. One of these big boys does actually peel off to the right side. He needs these Super Witches to make their way in. The Super Witches are actually peeling off. Two over there. Will they come back around? No! They all bail! They all bail to the wrong side for Kronos. Uh-oh. Hang on here. All the, that, was, that one skeleton pulled them, but he drops the jump back to bring him into the core. But let's see. Lexnos has got his way, moving his way through. RC's making her way to the multi. Lex finally pulls off the CC, and he's going to have to deal with it. The RC takes out the multi. Kronos has still got the Warden Eternal Tome. The Town Hall has been removed. These Super Witches are making their way into the build, into the Warden ability, into the core of the base. The Queen, we're trying to remove these Headhunters. She already... No! She did remove her... Use the ability. But here comes the Valkyries from the Plant Castle. Alexnos is starting the Lalo from the top side. Looking pretty solid. He's pushing his way into the Eagle, but these balloons are going down. Down goes the Air Expo. And the Eagle's going to go down. The Warden's down as well. He's moving his way in. He's got... Kronos is at 59%. Remember, he needs to get an 89% to lock it up for the victory no matter what. He's at 61. Can he get to the 89? Lex's Warden. The balloons are pushing their way around. The Ice Hound is actually going to pop pretty soon here. It's going to freeze a bunch of this area. Freezes the Queen just perfectly. And Kronos, he's got his way around. He's got 36 seconds left. These Super Witches are tanky. They are moving their way around. RC's ability goes off 80%. It looks like we're just going to have enough to get the 89. Lex, can he finish this off with a freeze? 85! Even Kronos' Super Witches go the wrong way. The 89% is going to be intact. Not only the 89, but it looks like Tribe can pull away with the triple. Does he have the time, though? The healers transfer to the Royal Champ to just keep her alive. Scatter goes down with the final shot. Seven seconds. But Kronos got the 89%. He is going to time fail. And Lex, is he going to time fail here? Kronos, 96. He got the 89 there. But Lex, six seconds. Is it? Oh, Lex is going to time fail here with a 99. And he's going to fall short. 99% to Lexnos of Space Station, which means that Tribe Gaming are going to be victorious 13 to 12 here in the French Clash Cup. Drive Gaming is victorious. 13 to 12. 98 to a 96.2.